What's up everyone? Now in this video, I'm going to be installing a Pioneer DJ driver again, but this time for Mac OS Big Sur. So, specs on my Mac, I've got a 2019 MacBook Pro. I've upgraded recently from uh, Catalina and there's been a whole heap of queries. People are trying to install the new driver, uninstall, install, uninstall, and they go into this cycle. And uh, what I'm gonna do as a guy who um, is immersed into Rekordbox and Pioneer DJ, I'm gonna try it myself and uh, we're gonna go through it together. Okay, so I have Rekordbox open at the moment. I have version 6.5. Dot one, where is it? Over here. Now I have an XDJ RR with me, so I've um, I've used it. I've already installed the um, XDJ RR driver for Catalina beforehand. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to store a new driver. Let's see uh, what happens when I plug this in immediately. Okay, so I'm in performance mode, as you can tell. By the way, this applies to any other controller. Pioneer DJ controller that you have, whether you have a DDJ 1000 or an 800, anything that requires you to install a driver, uh, it, it, it applies to the same. So mind you, I'm doing this for, this is for, for, for Rekordbox performance mode, because obviously you need the audio, audio driver in order to use your controller or DJ system to use Rekordbox. Got that? Um, on your XDJs, you've got to make sure you're in MIDI mode and, okay, here we go. So it's requiring me to to download the driver. So you can do it through here, but there's also another way of doing it um, for say you wanna get onto your favorite web browser. Okay, all you gotta do again is, um, I say again, cause I've said it before in another video, Google up Google up the, uh, the model of controller you have, type in driver, and there you go, the first result. Go to drivers, and here it is, audio driver for Mac OS Big Sur. There, there's either two ways. So in this case, I'm gonna go through this way. So hit next. Okay, please uninstall the current audio driver utility first, then install the latest version. I'm gonna disconnect the, the controller. Um, and it's requiring me to uninstall and then after that restart. So I'll be right back with you. Okay, and we're back. Just opened Rekordbox. Let's see if I plug this back in again. Let's see what it populates up with. Make sure it's back into MIDI mode. All right, Piney DJ XDJR is connected. Um, all right, so again, I'll have to click next. Another restart is required. So let's install this, shall we? Um, I am going to now disconnect the, the controller from my Mac. Go through the prompts, agree. It takes that amount of space. Type in my password. I'm not gonna tell you my password. Wait for it to load. Um, as most of you know, that there's an extra security measure. Ah, speak of the devil. Don't hit OK. Hit open security preferences. If you manage to hit OK, it's fine. Just go back to system preferences, security and privacy, and then click over to the general tab and you'll be able to find the following. Here it is. Okay and hit allow. Restart. I'm gonna have to restart again, so I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I am back again. Just restarted the computer, and I am going to plug in my XDJRR to my Mac. All right, get onto MIDI mode. Let's see what happens. XDJRR is connected, and let's see if I'm able to select some stuff. Here we go. All right. Shout out to Crossfavor for uh, for those uh, free tracks. And let's see if we can play some stuff. There you go. All right. Testing. Can't complain there. 
it's all working. Simple as that, as plugging in the controller. Now I'm gonna do something different. There's another method that um, I'm gonna try out which has been successful. So this is mainly for uh, customers who have upgraded from an old operating system. You still have you know, the old version of the driver. You've installed um, over the existing driver and now it's not working for you. You probably can't see that allow button. You've tried to, um, you know, to uninstall somehow and reinstall and it's not working. Okay, so I've just downloaded the old version of the audio driver for the XDJRR. Now, um, it's not as simple as uninstalling it. Shout out to Jerry at the operatives for giving me, uh, for giving us this solution. Now, what you'll need to do is you'll have to head up to head up uh, terminal, which is, why is it not working? There we go. So open up terminal. Of, I'll put this procedure in um, in the description, so that way you're able to follow through with me. You've got to copy paste this particular command. Now I believe it clears some sort of cache or something like that. Um, all right, heading back to here. All I've got to do is paste. Make sure you enter your password. Don't be afraid if it um, if it you know doesn't follow your typing. It's meant to do that. Hit enter. Okay, clearing all stage extensions. Now what you'll need to do uh, after that is uh, run the uninstaller, reboot your computer, and I'll let you know how I go in a sec. Okay guys, so I'm back again, rebooted the computer. Now what you can do is uh, open up Rekordbox, plug in your controller, and it'd prompt you to install the new version of the driver right away. But now in this case, I'm just going to download, um, download it again. Uh, so, drivers, Big Sur, <clears throat> open it up, um, what do I have here, alright, good tutorial isn't it? Alright, okay, it's um, prompting me to do this, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to be... I'm just gonna play dumb and hit okay. Don't mean to offend anyone, but just deal with it. <laughs> All right, hit close. Um, yeah, I'll move it to the bin. All right, let's see if it appears in system preferences. Oh, okay, there you go, there it is. All right. Touch ID, hit allow. Okay, it's triggering me to restart. I'll see you in a bit. All right guys, so I'm back again. I've opened up record box. I'm going to plug my controller in again, get onto MIDI mode. Let's see what happens. Okay, looks like we're in. Boom. You can control some stuff. All right. All right, it works. Brilliant. So to summarize, in the first part of the video, I've followed the prompts through Rekordbox. In the second part of the video, I used Terminal, copy pasted a little command in which I'll put in the description below, and that worked for me fine. And that's it guys, any further questions, put it in the comments below. Stay tuned for some more videos. This is The Black Moose, signing out.